Hello everyone, I'm Stu from Modular Robotics and this is Create with Cubelets, a tutorial series to help you imagine, make, teach, and create more with Cubelets Robot Blocks. Greetings creators, welcome to episode number one of Create with Cubelets. Before we dive in today, I want to talk about something essential, something that we all need to have a good understanding of. Robots. Namely, what is a robot? This is an important thing to know if we want to build one, so take a moment and think about it. What did you come up with? There are a lot of different ways to think about robots. You might be thinking of a drone, or a humanoid robot, maybe cubelets, or maybe one of those crazy robot dogs from Boston Robotics. Robots come in many different forms, so it can be hard to figure out what connects them. But if we practice a little decomposition and break down a robot into its individual parts, you will find it easier to see the similarities. If you look close, you'll find that a robot is actually a machine that can sense, think, and act. When you start seeing robots as machines that can sense, think, and act, you'll start seeing robots everywhere. So over the course of the next couple days, try looking around for machines that appear to sense, think, and act. Maybe you'll walk by an automatic door, or dry your hands in the bathroom. What happens when you push a button? Maybe when you say, okay Google, what's the definition of a robot? According to Wikipedia, a robot is a machine, especially one programmable by a computer, capable of carrying out a complex series of actions automatically. See? They're everywhere. So when it comes to building with cubits, remember your robot construction needs to be able to sense, think, and act. If you look at all the available cubits and try to find patterns, you might notice that we created a few different color groups. We divided cubits into these three color-coded categories. Black cubits are sense cubits. The multicolored cubits are called think cubits. And the clear cubits are act cubits. It's important to remember that the blue-gray battery cubit is a think cubit. You'll always need to include this cubit as part of your construction. In addition to sharing information with other cubits, it also powers every robot block in your construction. Now, if I build a robot construction with one black sense cubit, the blue-gray battery think cubit, and a clear axe cubit, I have a robot construction that can, that's right, sense, think, and act. This is the smallest amount of cubits that can make a robot construction without programming. If you want to discover even more about cubits, be sure to check out the Getting Started Guide, linked in the video description. You can make all sorts of robots using only three cubits. Try to challenge yourself to see if you can build seven different robot constructions that each behave differently using only the battery, distance, and drive cubits. Good luck, cubits creators, and be sure to look for the next episode to learn how you can use the new cubits app to create even more with cubits.